Peter Pan. Read the story along with me and find out what happens. You'll know when it is time to turn the page when you hear this sound. Wendy Darling and her brothers, John and little Michael, were restless. It was almost their bedtime, but they weren't sleepy at all. What shall we play? asked John with a sigh. I'm tired of all our old games. Well, said Wendy, I could tell you a story about Peter Pan. Hooray! shouted Michael and John. So Wendy told them about Peter Pan and the pirates. Wendy knew lots of stories about Peter Pan. Peter was a magical boy who lived in Neverland with his friends, the Lost Boys, and a pixie named Tinkerbell. In Wendy's stories, Peter and his friends had lots of exciting adventures. After Wendy had finished this story, John and Michael pretended to be pirates. Take that! shouted John as he waved his toy sword. Just then, the children heard a voice just outside their window. It must be round here somewhere, the voice said. The children looked out. It was Peter Pan. Peter flew by the nursery window often. He loved Wendy's stories, especially since they were all about him. But the last time he had visited the nursery, he had left something behind. Have you seen my shadow? Peter asked. Oh, Peter, said Wendy with a chuckle, here's your shadow. Sit down and I'll sew it back on. While Wendy sewed Peter's shadow back on, her brothers asked Peter about Neverland. Neverland, said Peter with a laugh. It's a wonderful place. I'll take you there, he offered. Once we're there, Wendy, you can tell the lost boys your stories. And John and Michael can help us fight pirates. But how can we get there? Wendy asked. That's easy. All you've got to do is fly. Just think happy thoughts, Peter told them. The children thought their happiest thoughts, but they still couldn't fly. We won't be able to go with you, said a disappointed Wendy. Peter was puzzled for a moment, but then he laughed. I forgot the pixie dust, he said. He sprinkled some of Tinkerbell's magic dust on the children. In no time at all, they were flying through the air, on their way to Neverland. Before the children knew it, they had reached Neverland. Wendy sighed and said, Oh, Peter, it's just as I dreamed it would be. Suddenly, they heard a mighty boom, and a cannonball zoomed past them. It had come from the pirate ship below, which belonged to Captain Hook, Peter's enemy. The captain had lost his left hand fighting with Peter, and a hungry crocodile had swallowed it. Now Captain Hook spent all his time trying to catch Peter Pan. Don't be scared, said Peter. We can outfly him easily. Peter brought Wendy and her brothers to his home. He lived in a secret underground hideout with the Lost Boys and Tinkerbell. The Lost Boys were waiting outside to welcome Peter Pan and his new friends. They were happy to hear that Wendy was going to tell them stories. But Tinkerbell was unhappy. She thought Peter Pan liked his new friends better than he liked her. She was especially jealous of Wendy. So while Peter showed Wendy, John and Michael his secret hideout, Tinkerbell flew away. Later, the Lost Boys offered to take Michael and John on a tour of Neverland. Oh boy, said Michael as they marched through the jungle. I bet we'll have plenty of exciting adventures here. As the boys followed John through the jungle, None of them noticed all the mysterious eyes that watched them from behind the bushes and trees. Without warning, 
a group of Indians leapt out of the bushes and grabbed the boys. The Indians tied up the boys and took them to the Indian village. At the village, the Indian chief was waiting for them. He was very angry. Where is my daughter, Princess Tiger Lily? He asked the lost boys. What have you done with her? We haven't done anything with her, said the boys. Will you let us go now? No, answered the chief. Meanwhile, Peter was giving Wendy her own tour of Neverland. As they flew, Peter suddenly noticed Captain Hook and his first mate, Mr. Smee, in a small boat. They were heading for Skull Rock, and they were not alone. They had captured Princess Tiger Lily. Peter Pan and Wendy flew closer. If you don't tell us where Peter Pan's secret hideout is, we will leave you here, Captain Hook said to Tiger Lily. But Tiger Lily refused to even look at Captain Hook. At once, Peter flew down to rescue Tiger Lily. Stop what you're doing, Hook, or you'll have to answer to me, Peter shouted. Captain Hook and Peter began fighting, but Peter was much too quick for the captain. In the water nearby, a hungry crocodile watched as Peter and Hook fought. It was the very same crocodile that had once swallowed Hook's hand. The crocodile had liked the taste so much that he always followed Hook around, hoping to get another bite. Hook was no match for Peter, and he soon fell into the water. The crocodile had been waiting for this chance. Hook, however, was determined to escape its gaping jaws. Smee! he shouted. Save me! I'm coming, Captain! I'm coming! Hold on! Smee shouted as he rode swiftly towards Hook. While Smee rescued Hook from the crocodile, Peter quickly untied Tiger Lily. Then Peter flew away, carrying Tiger Lily in his arms. Wendy followed them to the Indian village. The chief was very happy to get his daughter back. He released all the boys at once. Then he gave orders for a big celebration. Everyone sang and danced and had a wonderful time. After the party, Peter, Wendy and all the boys went back to the secret hideout. Tinkerbell hadn't gone to the party. She was still jealous of Wendy, and when everyone returned, Tinkerbell flew off by herself. She was so angry that she didn't notice someone watching her. Suddenly, the little pixie found herself trapped in a pirate's cap. Smee hurried back to the ship with Tinkerbell. Once aboard the ship, Smee released Tinkerbell. Welcome aboard, Miss Tinkerbell, said Captain Hook. I am sure you have noticed, he continued, that things have gone from bad to worse on this island since that girl, Wendy, arrived. Tomorrow I'll be leaving the island forever. I'll take Wendy to sea with me, if you tell me where I can find her. All Tinkerbell wanted was to get rid of Wendy. She dipped her feet in some ink. Then on the map she showed Hook where the hideout was. She didn't know Hook was really after Peter Pan. You've been most helpful, sneered Hook. Now I have Peter Pan where I want him. Hook locked Tinkerbell in a lantern and ordered his men to surround Peter's hideout. Meanwhile... Wendy and her brothers had decided it was time to go home. The lost boys wanted to join them, but Peter didn't want to leave Neverland, so he stayed behind in the hideout and never saw the pirates capture Wendy and the boys as they left. The pirates took Wendy and the boys to the ship. They tied the frightened children to the big mast. I'll give you a choice, said Hook. Become pirates! Or walk the plank. When Tinkerbell had heard Hook's plan, she knew she had to warn Peter. 
she was finally able to break the glass in the lantern and escape. Then she quickly flew back to the hideout. Excitedly, she told Peter that he had to save Wendy and the boys. Back on the pirate ship, Captain Hook was demanding an answer. What will it be? said Hook. A pirate's life or the plank? I'm sure Peter will rescue us, Wendy whispered to the boys. Then, bravely, she said to Captain Hook, We will never become pirates. We will die first. And she walked onto the plank and jumped off. Everyone waited for the splash, but the splash never came. Peter Pan arrived just in time to catch Wendy as she fell. Oh, Peter, I knew you would come, Wendy said happily. Peter took Wendy to a safe place. Then he returned to fight Hook. I'll get you this time, Peter Pan, cried Captain Hook. The two began fighting while the children and the pirates watched. As always, Peter was much quicker and smarter than the captain. They fought all the way up to the ship's rigging. As Hook jabbed his sword at Peter, he lost his balance. Much to the delight of the hungry crocodile below, Hook fell into the sea with a big splash. Once the pirates saw that Peter had defeated their captain, they gave up the fight. They decided to follow Hook and abandon ship. It was difficult for the pirates to keep up with their captain, however. Hook was swimming very fast, trying to escape the hungry crocodile. Back on the ship, everyone cheered for Peter Pan. They were surprised to hear him give orders to cast off. Where are we going? Wendy asked him. I'm taking you home, Peter told her. At Peter Pan's command, Tinkerbell happily sprinkled the pirate ship with golden pixie dust to make it fly. Soon, the children were back in the nursery. They knelt by their window and watched the magical ship sail off into the starry sky. As they waved goodbye, Wendy and her brothers knew they would never forget their adventures with Peter Pan.